wise choice. Really, guys? Yo, welcome. Yo, pull up a chair, Tuck. Ayabe said he'd meet us here, but don't know what his deal is. This is pretty out of the way. Maybe he's just trying to play it safe since we're new clients. Yeah, maybe you're right. Ayabe is sure taking his time getting here. Should we ask that guy? I wouldn't. Who knows if he's one of Ayabe's boys? True, but... Look, Ayabe's a dirty cop. 
The last thing he wants is his cover blown. We won't get a peep from him if that happens. Got it? Sure, sure. Hmm? Hey, someone's coming. Welcome. Pick a rod, I guess. Yo, gotten any bites today? Not even a nibble. And you're scaring them off. Get lost. Come on, don't be like that. You're here for Ayabe, right? <laughs> Who's that? Don't play dumb with me. It's not gonna end well for you. You got it all wrong. Just fishing. Right. We ain't your boys. We look like the type to hang out with cops. Huh. Who said anything about him being a cop? Oh, well, I... Oh, fuck. So you do know him. I fucking called it! These assholes baited me! That one was all you. So what do you want with Ayabe? Tell me, or else. Yeah, I'm real scared. Look, we don't want trouble. Just step off and we won't hurt you. You got balls, don't you? I'm gonna serve them to you! Done? Or do you want some more? <sighs> Doesn't sound like they do. <laughs> All right. You boys are in. You what? Ibe sounds careful dealing with new people. He's selling police info after all. Gotta make sure his partners can keep a secret. And these guys? Working for Ayabe, son. <laughs> Ayabe knows me, though. Doesn't he? You're Kaito, son, yeah? <laughs> the boss told me about you. You're <laughs> dumber than I thought. Dumb! Look here, asshole! Hey, not now, Kaito. As for you, where's Ayabe? Behind the counter. Come take a look. What the? You're looking at the entrance to Lamont, the best kept casino in all of Kamurocho. Lamont? French for lover. You know what they say there's an amazing lover behind every coy bride. Huh. Well, aren't you guys international? Go down and have fun. Ayabe-san will be here soon. Here, he's around the house. So the stupid pawn was just a front? Wow. <laughs> Fine by me. Well, want to see what they've got to offer? May as well put those chips to use.
on me. Playtime's over, Tuck. Ayabe's waiting. Good to see you, Kaito-san. I take it you're Yagami-san. Or would Yagami-sensei be more appropriate? <laughs> Whatever works for you. Sorry about that whole test thing. Name's Ayabe. Kamurocho Organized Crime Division. Pleasure. So, how you like in the casino? Pretty swanky, huh? Why? You the owner or something? Not quite. I do my part to keep it hidden, though. Cut a deal with the Tojo, too. Barely pay a lick of protection money now. I guess I do practically run the place. And you never invited me? I'm hurt. Sorry, I can't give you the VIP treatment when all you buy is the dirt off my shoes. Alright, let's cut to the chase, shall we? You know those Cure murder cases? They're all managed by my boss. Guy named Kuroiwa. He's the one who brought your captain in. But, thanks to you, Hamura walked, and now Kuroiwa's got egg on his face. <laughs> Felt good, let me tell you. I'm a fan of your work. So here, the first one's on the house. Guess we got Kuroiwa to thank for this. Now, I pulled together reports on all the cases so far. Three in total, including the trial the other day. Not so fast. You're on the hook if this shit gets out. Oh, pretty scary. And what happens if it does? You're dead. <sighs> Figured as much. 
Protect that with your life, huh? Will do. Can you tell me more about this Kuroiwa guy? He's the darling of the Camaro police station. Strong, popular, and always gets his mark. They've got him fast-tracked for promotion. And you don't like him, why? Guy's too damn perfect! Think it's any fun working with a perfectionist? Not to mention, he's a handsome devil. Envy's what makes a man ugly, friend. Especially, uh, coming from a dirty cop. I don't know. I think it's kind of refreshing. <laughs> Glad you see it my way, Yagami-san. Here, look at this asshole. Yeah, handsome. <laughs> right. He knows who you are, by the way. After all, you're the guy who got Hamura acquitted. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, don't open that here, okay? I'll keep it shut tight till I'm back in my office. That work? I'm usually hanging around Tender. Swing by there if you need anything else. Got it. Glad that's over with. I'm gonna play a few hands while I'm here. You staying, or...? I'll think about it. Righto. See you around. ベッドをお願いします。では始めましょう。Hit me. Hit me.
I'll stand. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。ベッドをお願いします。お手柔らかに。やりました。どうされますか。ベッドをお願いします。では始めましょう。Hit me. Oh, oh, you got me. どうされますかをお願いします。お手柔らかに。Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Oh, oh, you got me. どうされますか?ベッドをお願いします。では、始めましょう。引き分けですね。どうされますか?ベッドをお願いします。お手柔らかに。Hit me. Hit me. I'll stand. Oh, oh, you got me. どうされますかベッドをお願いします。では、始めましょう。Hit me. Oh, oh, you got me. どうされますか。お手柔らかに。Hit me. Oh, oh, you got me.
couldn't give up, do you? Stay down.
can I give up, do you? Excuse me. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。いらっしゃいませ。いらっしゃいませ。
Hey.
doing this. Stay down.
the way. Hello? Yeah! 
was that about? Are they going after this? Glad one of us is earning his pay. How are those docks from Ayabe looking? Not bad. How things go at the casino? I want a mill or so. A mill? I'd have kept going. That seemed like a good round number. Oh good. Guess I don't need to pay you this month. Hey, I ain't a charity. Anyway, anything good in there? Not yet. Cops only got as far as arresting Hummer. Well, according to this... That was the only lead they had. They're as stumped as we are. Hmm. Huh. No wonder Ayabe was practically giving that shit away. There is something in here about the second murder, though. Apparently, they had been tracking the victim, Kunimura, right up until his death. I take it that's Kunimura? Yeah. Two hours before his death, he was seen leaving a brothel called Konban Wife. Kind of place where the girls pretend they're married. Sounds like he was there for a Kanai-chan. <laughs> At least the guy had some fun before he went out. Hell, that's how I want to go. I'm gonna go talk to this Kanai-chan. See if she knows anything about Kunimura. With any luck, I might even get a lead on the mole. Come on, man. Leave the sexy shit to me. You're too young to handle a married woman anyway. <laughs> you do realize I'm just gonna talk to her, right? You're seriously not letting me take point on this one? What if I tell Mafuyu Cha? Go ahead. No skin off my back.
Welcome, sir. Any requests tonight? Huh? Oh. Yuna-chan, Marin-chan, and Kanai-chan are all free tonight. Here's their pictures. It's a thousand extra to make specific requests. So I don't have to pick any of them. I see. Is this your first time here, sir? Why don't we start by picking a duration? Duration? And any options you'd like. Uh, options? Right. Uh, let's start at the top, huh? For durations, we have 35 minutes for 9,000 yen, 50 minutes for 13,000 yen, or 65 minutes for 17,000 yen. Let's do 50 minutes. Ah, the big 5-0. Our most popular duration. Not too short, but not too long. The perfect length to soothe your body and mind. Interesting. Ultimately, it's your choice, though. Don't worry, there's no wrong answer. Did you have a specific girl in mind? At the moment, we have Yuna-chan, Marin-chan, and Kanai-chan. I'll go with Kanai-chan. A fine choice, sir. Something wrong, sir? You wanted Kanai-chan, yes? Yep. Kanai-chan it is. Great. Next, you can pick any options you'd like to add. There's quite a few. You can discuss those directly with the girl. What kind of options are we talking? Oh, all kinds. Although not every girl is open to everything, you know. All you need to know about Kanai-chan is she doesn't do blindfolds. B blindfolds Yes, sir. She had a bad experience with them when she was younger. Sorry to hear that. Guess there have been all those murders lately, too. Yes, well, you came here to forget all of that, yes? Anyway, let me show you to your room. Right this way, sir. Men. <laughs> uh, Hamura. Pretty expensive tastes. Sort of out of your price range, huh? Why are you even here? What's going on? Maybe I should be asking you the same question, yeah? <laughs> Not that I need to. Why are you still looking into the Curie murders, Tuck? Keep your eyes to yourself, lest you want to lose them. Are we clear? <laughs> you don't get to decide what I do. Don't go digging up dirt. Shintani went through a lot of work making those charges go away. <laughs> You want to keep playing detective, you ought to work out more. Well, I... got jumped earlier. By four assholes wearing ski masks. Yeah? And why should I care? Well, I think... maybe you had something to do with it. I'm pretty sure that's the four of them right there. Huh. <laughs> I think you must have my boys confused. Right, Kengo? Yeah. No one likes a fucking liar! Oh. <laughs> Kanai-chan quit. Packed her bags and went back home. So stop looking for her. Why? I'm gonna let you off with a yellow card this time. <laughs> but only because the boss likes you so much. That's Yagami. You got a sec? Sure. You okay? You don't sound too good. 
I could use a hand with uh, the family captain. I'd really appreciate it if you could get him off my case. I see. Well, uh, I'm just killing time at the office right now. Why don't you come on by? And we'll talk. Sounds good. Forgive me if this is rude, but I'll cut right to the chase, my boy. Hmm? I don't know what's going on between you and Hamura, but there's nothing I can do to help. What do you mean? You're not even gonna hear my side of the story? You'd just be wasting your time. Hamura's been bankrolling the family for a while now. I get by on the scraps he leaves me. I'm... I'm just a figurehead. But... The clan will do the things I ask of them, yes. But if they had to choose between my orders and Hamura's, who knows? Maybe they would choose not to hear me. How long has it been like this? Years. The prime of my career was... Well, it ended back when I was raising you. matsugane son. If only Kaito was still in the family, maybe things wouldn't have turned out like this. We're not done here. Actually, we are. I have a message from Captain Hamura, Yagami-san. He says to go see him right away. He's waiting for you at Cafe Alps. He wants to talk. Fine. I'll head over when I feel like it. Don't piss him off, Yagami-san. Unless you want to lose your eyes, too. Hmm. 
Welcome, sir. Please, take a seat wherever you'd like. Try to pull that. Running off and telling an adult. Like a fucking child. Oh, I just thought that the guy who actually runs the show would want to be able to keep tabs on his captain. He doesn't need to. So you keep your goddamn nose out of this shit. Understand? Or do I need to spell it out? Yeah. I'm hearing you loud and clear. So... I guess we're done here. We're not done until I say so. don't really work on you, do they, Talk? Well, I guess you always have been a fighter. None of us thought you'd last a day in law school. But you sure showed us. Went to night classes, passed the bar. You say you're done, but a guy with balls like you doesn't give up. You fought for your lawyer's badge, but trash with a badge is still trash. And it's about time to take you out. Ozaki!
Just kidding. Hey, man. What the fuck do you think you're doing? Your ass ready to die? Huh? Enough of this. You're dead! <sighs> this is some bullshit. You already went. Huh? It's only fair I take my turn.
Aim for the heart. Yes, sir! If you're gonna shoot me, you better do it yourself. Wait. How about the eyes? One bullet in each. Man the fuck up, Kengo! <laughs> Who the hell? No way. We gotta go. This way! Get them both! Let's go! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> you don't give up, do you? Let me borrow this real quick. Oh. Ooh. You finally give you up? Don't give up, dude. Not yet. with it. Just who are you? I'd appreciate it. Thank you first. Why should I? After what you did to me this afternoon? I gave your phone back, didn't I? Then why even take it? What was the point of it? I was trying to get away from a cop. The asshole just wouldn't get off my case. But when I saw you on the phone, I had the greatest idea. Okay, go on. Well, I guess the first step was taking your phone. I knew you'd end up following me after that. Then, seeing you and me running in the same direction, the cop would think you were my buddy. 
And while he took his sweet time arresting you, I was gonna escape. <laughs> I have to say, never thought you'd actually get away from him too, though. Eh, guess all's well that ends well, yeah? And just now, why'd you come save me? Good question. Why did I do it? Eh, beats me. <laughs> Interesting stuff. <laughs> Let's just say I wanted to apologize for stealing your phone. Lucky break, huh? You'd have got your brains blown out if it wasn't for me. You're telling me. Guess I owe you. In which case, we're even now. Hey. Why are you so dead set on this burglary ring? There's gotta be something better. <laughs> what? If you're looking for work, Maybe you could join us instead. And have the Yakuza out for my head? Fat chance. Those guys from before were Matsugane family. But, uh, the Kyori is also looking for me. <laughs> you sure know how to sell it. <laughs> but, I don't think we can trust each other just yet. Yagami-san? What'd you say? How do you know my name? <laughs> Matsugane family captain Kyohei Hamura is connected to the mole. Confirming his suspicions, Yagami's progress is impeded. The entire city is under Hamura's surveillance, and it went deeper than he knew. Alone and out of options, Yagami receives a little support. But the night is still young. Don't show your face again until you've got him. Search the whole fucking city if you have to. What, the kid in the mask? Find him too, dumbass! Ah! Come on, Kaito-san. Pick up, pick up. You've gotta hide. Is he? Yo, talk. <laughs> Long time no see, Yagami. Higashi? Is that you? <laughs> 
Said he's here on Captain's orders. They've been looking for you. I know. Sounds like he really doesn't want our killer caught. You're not giving up, are you? With how much it's pissing Hammer off? I wouldn't dream of it. Keep your nose out of this, asshole. It's your fault I'm here cleaning this shit up. What? Something wrong? I thought you were all about being Hamura's lapdog. I'm willing to do a few tricks for the treats he hands out. And hell, he's a better leader than you were. Kaito Anaki. You've got no business calling me that now. I suppose not. Then take your thugs and go, Higashi. Fine. We can call it here for today. Looks like if I want to fight you, I'll have to be ready to kill you. Looking forward to it. We're done here. Come on. Remember what I told you. Yagami here is a ticking time bomb. Get rid of him if you want to survive. Damn, Higashi. You're finally looking like a real Yakuza these days. Whatever, asshole. Tuck, think you can tail Higashi real quick? Huh? If I'm being honest, I've been worried about him ever since I left the clan. Yeah. He's changed a lot. I couldn't tell you what he's been through, but it's pretty clear he's had it rough. It's like you said, he's changed a lot. All right, I'm on it. Here, let me pay you. It's the least I can do. <laughs> you really think I want your money? Besides, how else am I gonna get more dirt on Hamra? Hello? It's Kaito. I have a read on Higashi. Just turn right down Nakamichi Street. Alone. Right on Nakamichi. Got it. Thanks again. What is it?
Aniki! Help me out here! The fuck are you? Oh, shit. Get lost, pal. He's out of our league, man. Let's move. Thank you so much! Anytime. I'm so sorry. I saw him, though. Higashi went into an arcade on Park Boulevard. Ring any bells? An arcade? Yeah. Looks like it's called Charles. Oh, that. I used to manage the place. Guess the family has him running it now. A Yakuza arcade? Well, they have a casino in the back or something? Nah, we just used it for deals every so often. It's pretty much a regular shop. You know, for kids. Okay. I'll see what I can find. Hey, just a sec. What? It's, uh, pretty tight in there. You're gonna need to be covert if you don't want him spotting you. Right. I'll change real quick. Got it.
Um, the machine ate my coin. Pipe down, Brad. Can't you see I'm busy here? Yeah, but... I said beat it, kid. <laughs> Sorry about that, kid. Here, go have some fun. Whoa, really? Thanks, mister. What do you think you're doing, huh? Off limits. Said stay out, asshole. Gashi san, this guy's crazy! Yagami? You followed me, asshole? Wait, what the hell are you wearing? Let's not worry about that now. So, what do you want? Kaito san's worried about you, you know? Oh, yeah? As far as he can tell, you're nothing like you were in the old days. Why the fuck would I be? And who the fuck cares? This is how the Yakuza roll. Right. Except it's all a big act, isn't it? <laughs> huh? I saw you give that kid some cash, you big softy. Deep down, you're the same old Higashi. The one who used to look up to Kaito-san. You sure about that, asshole? Look, I don't want to fight you. I can turn and walk away if you want. <laughs> Coward. Same old story. How long has it been since we've seen each other? A year now? It was the day Kaito-san got expelled. You were... pretty upset by it. A thief going after Yakuza Cash. Couldn't imagine anyone's that dumb. But they did it. All under Kaito-san's watch. The family lost 100 mil that day. But there was nothing Kaito-san could do with a gun shoved in his face. Making sure there's some accountability around here, boss. As if that'll suddenly make things right. How exactly does this get our money back? Well, it won't, but it's a start. It's important to set an example. A hundred mil, huh? Sounds like that's one expensive finger. Talk. Why are you here? We were outside having a chat. 
the hell do you think you're doing? That pinky's big money. Thought I'd get a good long look before it's gone forever. Shut it! <laughs> Pretty pathetic, isn't it? But Hamura, the damage was a hundred million. You really think one pinky can cover that? Huh. There's gonna be a whole lot more coming his way. More than this? Uh... What more can you do? Good question. Kaido-san. You're out. For good. There's no way. Kaito Anaki is... <sighs> Boss... You're... Okay with this? Begging him won't get you out of this. You see, boss? It's gotta be done. You know it's only fair. You should know. I already informed the main family of this. Did you know? You were awfully efficient about that. Thank you very much. <sighs> Matsugane-san, you really gonna go through with this? It's done, Tak. Kaito's out. From this point forward? Are you sure about that? I'm certain. Good news, Kaito-san. You get to keep your pinky. Huh? You don't get to decide that! Yakuza cut off their fingers to show accountability for the things they do. A civilian like Kaito-san has no reason to do that. The fuck do you think you are? With all due respect, your own boss just said Kaito's not Yakuza anymore. Captain. <sighs> Back off. I'll do what I've gotta. Kaito-san. This is how it's gonna have to be. I'm not afraid. I'm Yakuza, dammit! Wait! Kaito! You're not Matsugani family or Yakuza anymore. You hear? I don't need your pinky, so just go. <laughs> Boss. Fucked up. The boss brought you in to save Kaito Anaki. But it was too late. He was gonna get expelled no matter what. Even so, you gave him the best defense a man could ask for. Yeah, and Hamura's had his eye on me ever since. You know, you're doing pretty well for yourself, Higashi. Looks like you're moving up the ranks. I heard this used to be Kaito-san's arcade. Hell do you know! Hamura practically controls the Matsugani family now. With Kaito Anaki gone, Matsugani-san's command has slowly slipped away. This would have never happened if he'd stayed. Couldn't you have done something? You just sat and watched while he took control. Easy for you to say. I couldn't have done shit. Maybe not. By the way, Whatever happened to the family's hundred mil? Huh? Did they ever get the money back? Or find the thief? <sighs> Fuck off. It's none of your business. True. Excuse me. Huh? Wait a 
sec. How'd it go? Fine. I ended up going in that arcade. Talk to Higashi. He caught you, huh? Nah. Anything come of it? First off, Matsugane-san's completely lost control of Hamura. Apparently, Higashi has no choice now but to follow his captain's orders. Fucked up. When we talked, though, it felt like I was talking to the same old Higashi. Didn't look same old to me. Kaito-san, how long has it been since you saw Higashi? Today was the first time since getting the boot. Hamura would have been all over him if we kept in touch. I didn't want to weigh him down, you know? Gotcha. I wonder what Hamura will do next. He'll be back here soon enough. 
It's just a matter of time. Wouldn't even be surprised if he tried to off us. <laughs> you think we pissed him off that much? Well, he doesn't want us catching the mole, that's for sure. Other than that, I think he just hates our guts. Damn. Even though we're the reason he's a free man? Guess we just can't catch a break. You know a year ago, when you got expelled from the family? Uh-huh. It was because someone stole a hundred mil from the safe, right? Yeah, what about it? What ended up happening with that? Did you ever hear anything? Apparently, Higashi got it all back. At least, according to Ayabe. Higashi did? But how? Not a clue. I would have had to fork up another 200 grand for more info. I didn't have the cash, so I dropped it. Haven't brought it up since. Sounds like Ayabe has a lot to tell us. It'll cost you. Bet you can find him a tender around now. You heading to tender? Whatever info Ayabe's got is gonna cost you, you know. I well, hope I have enough then. I'll figure something out if not. <laughs> 